Hi everyone, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to do this video quickly. I don't have a tremendous amount of time, so I'm going to bust it out. And it is the um, video on my anniversary ring that I got um, in October. So, let's see if I can get it to... That's a pretty decent shot of it. Okay, so this um, is an eternity ring. Diamonds all around. Um, it is 18 karat white gold. There are 14 uh, diamonds that are between D and G. D. No, I'm sorry, not D. F and G, sorry, I'm like, I have to count it on the thing. Um, between F and G color, and they are VVS1, so they are basically what's called um, eye clean, meaning you don't see any flaws or any inclusions, and basically it's they're white. Um, and... It is a three and a half carat total weight band. Each individual stone is a quarter carat or 0.2 or 0.25 points or however you want to say it. Um, and there you go. So, um, sorry, there's my tree behind me and kind of messy sofa and whatever. <laughs> We just started decorating for Christmas, so um, and I'll, I posted a picture of my tree. So anyway, um, okay, so like in a nutshell, sort of the story with this ring and like why I ended up going with this particular ring. Um, I had been looking at the Cartier Trinity, the Pave Trinity, and I loved it, but it was just, there comes a point with um, signed pieces or like branded jewelry, so like Cartier, things like that, Tiffany, where you're paying for the box and the name and to an extent the quality, but, and so um, I kind of put that on the back burner, although I was looking at consigned pieces. And the thing was, is I wanted something blingy. I'm, you know, whatever, I'm not, I'm not, I think we all know I lack fancy. So yeah, I was looking for something blingy and I wanted something fairly substantial. And it was our 15th anniversary and I felt like I'd earned it. And so um, I'll go into the story of where, what it was replacing and all that in just a second. So anyway, I had, I'm trying to put it like so you guys can see it, but I feel like this is awkward. So you've seen it. I'm, I'll come back in a second. Okay, so um, I was looking on like price scope and um, on the purse form in the jewelry section and all of that, looking at rings just to get ideas. Um, you know, the obvious... You know, you've got the three stone rings. Um, I like them, but I didn't love them. Um, I liked the five stone rings, though, five equal stones, because it really just sits just at the top. And then you have, you know, the band down here, so you can size it if you want. And then bottom line, you're only paying for, you know, what's up top and what people can see. And I really liked that because, like I said, I wanted blingy. So I was looking at some of the rings online. Um, you know, just to kind of get an idea. And so we were going, or we went to New York um, the week of our anniversary, sort of like the end of that week. Our anniversary was on a Monday. And so the plan was to look in like the Diamond District and the Jewelry District in New York while we were there. So I was making some uh, like appointments with the different jewelers. You do have to make appointments, especially if you're only there for a limited time, because a lot of the jewelers in the diamond district uh, are Jewish and so they close on Fridays sort of like mid-afternoon 2 30 or so and then they're closed on Saturdays and some of them are even closed on Sundays you know depending on you know their family schedule and so um, although a lot of them are open and we were leaving on the Wednesday night and so I didn't want to leave it too late so I really wanted to narrow down what I wanted so my husband and I on our anniversary um, we were going to breakfast and lunch, you know, and spending that day together. And so I was like, you know, and he said, let's go look and let's make sure that the Cartier is just that you're really truly putting that to bed, so to speak, and putting it away until a later date. And I'm sure in his head, he was like, score. And, um, and then let's look at the five stones and make sure that that's what you want and sort of narrow down a size and everything so that when we go, you can literally on that Friday morning hit the ground running and say, okay, I wanna look at rings with these specs. So that's what we decided to do. Went to a few jewelers on New Bond Street, didn't really see anything I liked, um, and then wandered in through the Burlington Arcade. If you've been there before, if you've been to London, there are these like little alley passageways that are very quaint, especially during Christmas. They're, they're decorated very like Dickens Christmas. Um, and stopped at one jeweler, wasn't impressed at all with what I saw. You could tell that it was 
um, the, the bands were like mold, molded bands, and then they've just put in um, the diamonds and then form the, the prongs around it versus building a ring specifically for the diamonds or building the prongs. Like, so anyway, wasn't impressed. Um, wandered down a little bit further, saw a ring in a window of a jeweler that I, and I'm not going to say the, the name because the, the ring is probably off of the site by now. Um, but it was up on their site as a custom piece with the price and everything. And I just don't want to go there because I don't, I just don't need the aggro in the comments because I get, I get hateful enough comments as it is with, you know, some people that I don't need to add. I don't need to add the fuel. <laughs> if you do want to know though, and you'd like to PM me, that is absolutely fine. I'll tell you how much the ring was if it, if you, you know, whatever. So anyway, popped in and the two ladies there were absolutely lovely. And I said, you know, I'd love to see that five stone in the window and she brought it out and we tried it on and I hated it, hated it. So I'm sad because I'm like, crap, this is, this was my plan. And now my plan is foiled and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to have to start looking at the Cartier again because that I loved and I've tried on a thousand times and I know I love it. Um, but it's so much money. And so one of the, the ladies in the shop said, you know, well, what, a, you know, this is an anniversary present. Why not a, an eternity ring? And I said, I just don't like them, you know, and she's bringing out a tray and I, you know, and I said, I just, and she's handing me one and I'm talking and I'm like, I just think, you know, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like randomly and I put it on my, and then I, uh, oh, <laughs> I was wrong. You know, the whole time, like I was giving her all the reasons why it wasn't the right ring. And then I put it on and it was, I swear, like the light came down from heaven and I got butterflies and I was like, oh, okay. So it's the, okay. And it was the ring, like it was the ring, but I hadn't even discussed with Paul, with my husband, his name's Paul, no big, no big secret. Um, I had not really discussed with him anything. Um, and we were planning on doing this in New York. It's some, whatever. Uh, we had planned on doing this in New York. And so, um, uh, sorry. <laughs> It's really awkward to look at your, it's, I try not to look at myself because this is me looking at myself and this is me looking in the viewfinder and I can't see myself right now. So who knows what my hair is doing? But then sometimes I'll watch them back and be like, wow, it's bad, but whatever, whatever. Okay. So I hadn't really discussed anything with my husband about like, you know, do you like the ring or whatever? And I'm trying to avoid his eye. He's trying to give me the like, do you want it face? And I don't want to put him in an awkward position. And he's not pushing it because he doesn't know if I love it. So he doesn't want me to have to say, no, it's ugly. So anyway, so I say, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We've got to go to lunch, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we get to lunch and we're sitting down and my husband is like, so what did you think about the ring? And I was like, I, I like the ring a lot. And he's like, you know, do you like it, like it? Or it's like, you, it's, it's kind of the stepping stone and you're going to build from there. And that, that this is now what you're looking at, you know, with, with like, do you want that, that ring or do you just now you're open to eternity? And I was like, um, it's kind of the ring. And he goes, Oh, well, if it's the ring, let's go back. Like, it, Oh my gosh. And I was like, but you know, I just didn't want to put you in a weird position. He goes, no, no, no. It, that's absolutely in line with what I thought we would, we were going to end up spending. That's your ring. Like if you know, and I really liked the idea of getting it in London and the jeweler is here. So if there's any problems, you know, you know, when you get something, sometimes there's a little bit of a teething period where you're like, oh gosh, okay, this, this prong is bugging me. You know, I could have it fixed in London, but I'd rather go to the jeweler, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we went back to the, the jeweler in the Burlington Arcade. They saw us through the window and I was like, she's like, so, and she'd had it, she'd already had it cleaned, like, you know, in the auto, not, not the autoclave, but like where they steam it and everything like that to have it ready. Cause she's like, I knew you were coming back. Cause this was your ring. Like you put it on and it was like magic. So went back in, bought the ring. Okay. So I bought the ring in London. That that's the whole big story. Um, but it was, it was a fun story and it was nice. And I like that I got the ring on my actual anniversary. Um, it really kind of makes it even more special. Okay. So quick story about why I got this ring, because, um, I've had a few people be like, you know, do you, do you have like an engagement ring? Like, you know, do you have diamonds? Like, are you just not a jewelry person? Um, yeah, I used to have an engagement ring. Um, and in a nutshell, um, 2008, 2009, my husband's industry tanked and went into a recession and my husband self-employed and we lost everything. I mean, every damn thing. I mean, not to the point where we lost cars, but we burned through savings and we were struggling and I was 
having to budget. I like at one point when it got really bad, I had like for two weeks of groceries, I had $40 and I had kids like little ones. Um, so as an aside, anybody who thinks I don't know, you know, who thinks, Oh, you know, Robin has all these things. Yeah, I, I do, but I'm in a position now to have them. I was in a position before where I couldn't send my kids to, to birthday parties because I couldn't afford presents for the children. Um, so <laughs> if you think that I don't know what it's like to struggle and to scrimp and to sacrifice and to go without, I know what it's like to do all of those things and budget and worry and cry at night. And, um, yeah, I, I know it all. So anyway, I, yeah, I did. I had an engagement ring. I had a two and a half carat princess cut on platinum channel set band. It was stunning but stunning doesn't feed your children and stunning doesn't keep a roof over your head and stunning doesn't keep them from repossessing your cars because you are three months behind on your car payments. Yeah, like that. That's, yeah, it was that bad. Um, and so one day I was just like, and I literally took it off my finger and I handed it to my husband. I said, just please go sell this and get money and get us caught up because I can't do this anymore. I can't have one more day where I'm trying to figure out how to how to afford like fruit, you know, because, you know, $40 over two weeks for two adults and two kids. I mean, it was brutal, brutal. It was hard. And I hoped to never go back to that again. But anyway, I digress. So sold the ring. And, um, and it was sad, but if you, if you're watching this and you've ever been in that position, you get it. Yeah, it's sad, but so is so is not having milk. <laughs> and so is worrying that you're going to come home and there's going to be a lockbox on your house. Um, there's a lot of things that are sadder than not having an engagement ring. So um, really, if you if I really think back, it was sad, but I was so grateful to have it. I was so grateful that we had something of significant value to sell that I was able that we were able to get caught up. You know, and then, you know, later that year, we ended up moving up north. My husband had the contract and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then we moved to London and things have been absolutely fantastic. And, um, but it was, you know, it was a rough patch and it was, um, it was something else. But I'll tell you this, I will tell you this, nothing tests a marriage like financial issues. And we made it through with absolutely flying colors. I am extremely lucky that I have an amazing husband and a strong marriage. And so... Um, even when we were in a position to buy, you know, some, like a replacement as it were, I was just like, I, you know what? I don't really care. And that's when I ended up with the Trinity. Um, when we were here in London, my husband surprised me for our probably like 12th anniversary, something like that. Um, does that sound about right? 11th, 12th, one, somewhere in there when we first got to London and then, um, and I wore that for, you know, most of the time. And then, um, two anniversaries ago? I don't know. Um, he got me the love ring, um, the love band, and I had those. And um, so we had always, he had always said, you know, I'm going to replace, I'm going to, he always said, make it up to you. And I, I could cry because that's not what marriage is about. You don't have to make it up to me. It, you know, and if it never happened, it would have never happened and I would have been fine and still been a happily married wife, you know. Um, but it was important to him that he, that I have the ring, you know, capital T, capital R, the ring. Um, so it happened on our 15th anniversary. We were in a position, we've been in a position to do it for a while, but I was like, let's do it on our 15th. I think that'll be amazing. So, um, and it was amazing. And, um, like I cried when I got it for, you know, a few reasons. Um, like I said, I could sit here and I could totally start crying right now. Like I'm, I'm choking up a little bit. And if you haven't noticed, I'm a crier. And if you ever cry in my presence, I'm a sympathy crier too. So if you start crying, I'll start crying with you because I'm just like, okay, the situation is, you know, so anyway. Um, so this ring meant so much for so many different reasons. It meant that we were in a position to do it. And that alone is an exciting and, and just, like take no more stress. You know, we, we had it to do it and that was exciting. But then, um, I, 
it was just so nice to have something pretty on my finger again, you know, and have something diamond. And um, it, my husband had asked me, you know, do you want to redo your engagement ring? Like, do you want the big? And I thought about it and I said, no, you know, I was, I actually liked having just bands and not having the big honking thing. And I think that you get to a certain point and it just looks, vulgar is probably a harsh word because I don't mean that at all. Um, because I like a big diamond. I just, on my hand, I just don't care for it on me. Um, and I also think that trying to, at, at 15 years in, it's not my engagement ring. So having that big ring that looks as an engage, like looks like an engagement ring, it's, it's not, it, it, it's silly. I have my original wedding band. I have it. I still love it. And this to me is that's, that's in the past. It's gone. I don't, it, it's it's over. This to me though is signifying still our time together and it's a celebration sort of of the time that we've spent and 15 long years of marriage. I don't mean that in a bad way, but 15 is a long time to be married. We've been together for 18 and I just think that it was a nice way to mark the milestone and I think 15 years is a pretty decent milestone. So that is the story of my ring in a nutshell. So three and a half carats, uh, 18 karat white gold, I clean FG stones, VBS one. Um, I got it here in London. I absolutely love it. Um, really quickly, I've had to, I have, I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe you can't, okay, so like right there. I've had to build up calluses on either side because this ring is seriously, I'm not used to having something as like sharp and rough kind of, you know, there. Um, it took some getting used to because it, it, it I was used to having smooth bands and this is, you know, a lot to get used to, but, um, and sometimes even still at night, I'll take it off because like I'll be in bed and it's just aggravating and also I'll put it on my nightstand. Um, the other thing that's taken some getting used to, oh, okay, total first world problem. But before when I had one of these on each and I've decided to stack my Trinity and my love, um, when the, these are nice and smooth and so like when I was putting, like washing my face and stuff like that at night, no problem. I have to take this off because I will scratch the hell out of my skin with this thing. And plus it gets, um, like soap and stuff gets caught up there and it gets really gunky. So, um, I think that's it. Is that everything? Um, I don't think I can really get much closer, but, um, sorry, I've got like wonky fingers. I have short fingers. Um, so that's the ring. If you have any questions about it, please do let me know. I'm happy to answer them um, to the best of my ability. I'm not a jeweler, so I mean, I, you know, I can't give you much in the way of specific information. I, I don't know anything about like, you know, ideal cut, anything like that. I don't, because I don't care. I, you know, that kind of stuff. I just don't have that much interest in my, <laughs> in my jewelry. I don't need to know the, the very, very specifics. Just, you know, it's pretty and it's sparkly and I like it and it's what I wanted and it made my heart kind of flip flop a little bit and that's enough for me. So thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you soon. I have no idea what videos to do next. I don't really think I have I don't really have anything to talk about. So if you have any ideas, maybe I'll do like an idea, um, like a post your idea below thing over on Instagram. So keep an eye out for that. I'll leave it up overnight because sometimes when I do the Q and A's, I just put them up briefly because otherwise I end up getting too many questions and then I have a 45 minute video and nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. So that's that. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Take care, bye.